did Henri or Henri Cartier-Bresson come to Liverpool to take photographs? Do you know? He did, he did that, yeah. Because I remember seeing one of his photographs as the urchin kids. Uh, I, I, at the time, I didn't know whether it was shot in Glasgow or, or Liverpool. I don't know, it doesn't matter. But I remember being moved by that two kids. And one of them looked the spitting image of a little boy. It's about the same sort of little lad, black hair. And I always remember when I was on my way to the start of the C school, junior school, so I must have been eight or nine. And I took a shortcut over the back of a, a, a back of the back of the houses down the jigger. And suddenly there's a lad there. All right, all right. And he's joined by two other boys, all of them. And they stopped me. Well, have you got any? Got any? Got any? And I was mugged at the age of seven. But I had nothing on me. I had a pencil. Remember a little pencil? I've got a pencil. So I'll have that then. I took the pencil. That was it. Wasn't serious, was it? Really? Looking back on it, it could have been horrible. <laughs> Maybe it got worse, worse mugging. Anyway, that was it. But I was just, I felt, oh, well, that's, not, that's not right, you know. And I just remember that, so I wrote back Cartier Bresson and about the way they reacted to him, really. I don't remember the poem in my head, off the head, I can't quote it. But it's all about how I can imagine Fox Fogba saying, hey lads, you know, they look scruffy, they look really scruffy, I'll take a nice photograph of them. Now make them, you know, make it look a bit tough, look a bit more undernourished and then take a photograph. And then they get their own back on him, you know, imagine they take their own, I don't know, you know, this is a bit cruel, I think, but um, on the photographers. But you know, everything is often often set up, and sometimes it isn't, and sometimes and uh, you should capture a truth that that's there. I think this is a poem called "Street Urchins," and it's after seeing a photograph by Henri Cartier-Bresson, black and white photograph. In the foreground, two boys with dirty faces, snub-nosed and unwashed are grinning wildly as they hug each other. One is barefoot, his elder brother wears oversized boots without laces, both in ragged matching jumpers. It's a sunny day but cold. A lamppost leans a heavy shadow diagonally across the pavement. In the background, the mother pushing the large hooded pram is muffled in headscarf and winter coat. In black and white, the photograph could have been taken in any street in any industrial town not long after the war. Fade in colour and movement. The town, in fact, is Liverpool, a September morning down by the docks. After telling the Frenchman to fuck off, the boys, still laughing, race each other down the cobble street, cross a bomb site and turn into a jigger that runs between the backs of terraced houses. A seven-year-old boy, unsure of his surroundings, is taking a shortcut home from school. The boy in boots picks up half a brick, his brother a jagged piece of roof slate. They close in on the stranger. I give them all I have, a thripney bit and a brand new pencil. Fade out colour and movement. Oh, uh, well, there you are. No, you can't trust a poem necessarily, no. Um, I think you always got to be honest, not necessarily tell the truth. Now, what I mean by that, I mean, if I write a, 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 a poem, I do change things around. I do change details, I change faces, change names, uh, but there's a truth about it. Uh, and same with the photographer, I think. You can move things around, I think that's fair enough, and you can get things to maybe take your shoe off or something, or pull your sock down, pull your socks down a bit more, lads, to make you look a bit more hungry. But it's not spoiling the image and what he saw in it to make it more direct or more impactful, I think. You know, you can catch a fleeting moment of truth, and photographers do, and poets do, but if it's going to be, you know, thought about sometimes, I think it's perfectly all right, as long as the result is not demeaning anybody, but is actually the opposite to that.